a super easy way to download administrative or boundary data for nearly any location is using the OSM's GeoFabric download server. It has a database of every continent, every country, and all, many of these countries already have their states and other sub-regions clearly defined in this database. Let's try getting um, a map of Lagos, Nigeria. On the GeoFabric download server site, the link is in the description of this video. Click on downloads if you can see where my cursor is. Click on GeoFabric downloads and then it shows you a list of all continents. As you can notice on the right, while you hover over a continent, it gives you the approximate location on the map, on the world map on the right there. So we are going to Africa and then let's search for Nigeria. So if we need a map of Nigeria, if we need a map of any of these countries, all you simply do is select a link of what you want, either in OSM PBF format, ship file or OSM BRU BZ2. Either of these dot OSM formats are just simply um, zipped OSM files. They are just easier to download and move around. So we click on Nigeria. Now, this is what I wanted you to see. Subregions, no subregions. If there were available states, state ship files here, we would have seen it here. It's unavailable. Stick around till the end. I'll show you how to download this using a different service. So let's check out. You will enjoy OSM's database more if you are looking for data from Europe. So let's check out Europe. Let's see Germany. Now you see different subregions available. Let's select Bayern. And you see, even beyond Bayern, there are multiple other subregions of the different um, places within the state. So, whatever you want to download, you select and you download it. Simply select and you see it's downloading already. So, we'll post that. That is how to download from the True Fabric download server. In the description of this video, there will be links to how you can download different kinds of vector files, roads, buildings, houses, and other things using OpenStreetMaps database. And also how you can get some of these locations that are not here from Diva GIS. I'll drop a link there. And then how you can import these vector files into QGIS and ArcGIS. See you in the next video.